everyone, so I just got a typewriter, and I've got to tell you about it. This beauty. Look at her. Look at her. It's an Underwood 378, and let me tell you, she's the new love of my life. Yeah. Yeah. So today I want to talk to you about why I got a typewriter, and I'm going to do a little walkthrough about my typewriter, because I just think she's so beautiful, and I want to show her off. So let's get started. I am... Um, had a really bad day yesterday, all right? I'll just be honest with you. It was terrible. I woke up um, to Twitter hate, just people lying about me on Twitter, and it's painful. It's painful to wake up to a brand new day, open your phone, and see negativity. So I started my day off badly, but I was like, you know what? Clear the mind, forge forward. I decided to edit a video and post it for the Booktubeathon channel, which, if you don't know, is a readathon I run every summer. It's a chance for the Booktube community to all come together and read. I love it. I pour so much of my energy and time into it. Literally months of planning, hours and hours of work, and I posted this video. Boom. Hate. <laughs> and it was demoralizing. It was sad. It was really, it felt very personal. It felt very sad. And so what I did was something I have never done. I've never done before. I left my house, I walked out to the backyard, and I just laid in my hammock for like a good hour. I just laid. I had an opportunity to sit and think about my life. My, it sounds crazy, but it, I was literally at this point where I just needed to silence everything around me and think about myself. What am I allowing to hurt me? What am I responding to? What is going on? Where am I? And what do I want to do? What, what are my priorities? And it really gave me this opportunity to understand. I love YouTube. I love making videos. I, I enjoy the process very much. I, I don't want to stop because I, I really like it. But it also made me realize this is not my end goal. What I want to do is write. I want to be an author. That's what I want. I want my book in bookstores. I want my book on this shelf. You know what I'm saying? And I realized I'm putting so much of my energy and my soul into YouTube and what I'm wanting from it is what I want from writing. And so I need to write more. So during this whole thinking session, I came to the conclusion that what I needed to do was to drive two and a half hours to Montreal, buy myself a typewriter, drive back, and live a new life, a life renewed. <laughs> I have four main goals for this typewriter, and I really understand that this typewriter itself is not going to give them to me, that it's up to me to use this properly. But here are the four main reasons. Reason number one is that I need a way to write that is completely devoid of the internet. I love my laptop. Guys, I love my laptop, but I cannot help but get distracted on it. I can't help it. Like, I'll write a page and then I'm like, you know, I deserve a YouTube break. I deserve to go on Twitter for a few minutes. And next thing you know, I've searched videos for three hours and it's time for me to go to bed. You know, I'm tired. So I really want a way to write that has nothing to do with the internet. Second to that, very similar to that, is that my laptop is not a writing space. It's not a place that to me means writing. It's a multimedia hub. It means editing videos. It means watching videos. It means surfing the internet. It means like writing documents and it re means school. It means so many things that it doesn't feel like a dedicated space. So what I'm hoping is that this means writing. The only thing that this tool can do is be heavy, I guess, and write. Those, that's it. It can only write. So I'm really hoping that having that dedicated space is really gonna help me zone in, focus in, and forget about everything else. I know what you're thinking. What about your phone? I'm just gonna have to put my phone away. That's gonna be hard. The third thing is that I think it's really gonna help with my editing process. I'm realizing that a real bottom line here is that my laptop is not being the right writing tool for me. My laptop is, is built for ease. It's supposed to be easy to do everything on it, right? Pages, Microsoft Word, whatever you use, it's so easy to edit. That's one of the great features of it. 
But because of that, I just keep editing. <laughs> I write a paragraph and I'm editing that paragraph before I'm moving forward. It's not productive. You know, Ernest Hemingway famously said, write drunk, edit sober. The idea being that you need to just write. You just need to get it out. It's gonna be messy, it's gonna be stupid, it's not gonna make a lot of sense, it's not gonna be what you want it to be, but you just gotta, you gotta put it out there. And then you gotta edit it sober. The idea being you edit it with a clear vision, calm, relaxed, right? But the first draft needs to be a bit of a disaster. And I'm having problems getting that first draft out of me because I keep editing it. You can't do that here. There is a backspace button, but it, it doesn't work the way that we're used to a backspace button working. You can't delete, you can't erase, you can't move backwards. You can only move forwards. And I'm really hoping that helps. The other kind of editing thing is that I think it's gonna be a good process, we'll find out, but I think it's gonna be a good process to print it all out and then to have to transcribe it word for word, idea for idea into my laptop. Um, I'm never gonna like not use a laptop in writing. It's too convenient. But for the first draft, that's my problem. For editing, I, I think transcribing is gonna be great. I'm gonna have to go through the entire novel and really reaccustom myself to it, really get to know it. Um, but for the first draft, we don't need any of those fa fancy features. Just need to go forward. And finally, I'm really excited that this makes a physical object. Listen, on your computer, you can print. It's true. You can create a physical product from a digital file, but that isn't what typically happens. You don't typically print every single thing you write you know? And maybe at the end of a session you're like, that wasn't very good, I don't think it deserves printing. Because printing is expensive and ink is expensive and paper is expensive and so you're thinking it wasn't good enough to print. Or what am I gonna do with it? It's just gonna sit around. This forces you to have a physical item and I love physical items. I love making a zine because you have that thing at the end of it. I love that. And I think I'm really gonna enjoy the process of writing an essay, you know, writing a personal essay, writing a thought, writing a poem, and having it, having the physical thing. I am very curious to see how storing everything is gonna work. Like, will I end up throwing a lot of stuff out? Will I end up having to buy a bucket to keep all of this paper in? I'm not sure, but we're gonna find out together. So before I go, those are the reasons for me getting my typewriter, but I really wanna walk you through it. So let's do that. So this is my beautiful Underwood 378. Um, and I just wanted to show you a, a few of the ways that it works. You know, I should really get a sheet of paper in it. So this is the lever that pushes you all the way to the beginning of the margin. Um, and this right here, th I find this one of the coolest features. This lets you single space, double space, or triple space um, your writing. So let's go to a new line. Um, up here is the black ink. In the down position is the red ink. And in the middle is the nothing ink, which is why that barely showed up. So we'll do that again. My name is, you can really clearly see that, and we'll go to red, Ariel. Um, but what's hilarious is that I cannot backspace. That's just, I messed up. That's permanently messed up. <laughs> Reminds me that I wanted to show you this. I bought um, a pink and purple ribbon. So it's in plastic and I can't take it out because otherwise it will make a literal disastrous inky mess. But soon, someday, I will put this in and I'll be able to write in purple and in pink, which is so fun. So the rest of the keyboard really works like a normal keyboard that we're used to. This is shift and this is caps lock, which literally locks the shift keys down so that you're writing in capitals. I'm in... Capital. Some interesting things are that there's no exclamation point. So to do an exclamation point, you have to do an apostrophe, backspace, and do a period. That is <laughs> um, an exclamation point. But the other funny thing is that there's no number one because that is the margin lock key. So to do a number one, you do a lowercase l. It looks normal, but it's also like a lowercase l. Lovely. This red key is the tab key. On modern computers, tab is up here, or well, at least on an English computer, um, it's up here. But the tab key just moves way more than a space does if you're trying to 
quickly get to the end of a line or you want to evenly space out tabs or, you know, for the classic reason, you want to indent a paragraph. There you go, you indented. In dented indentedned i spelled that wrong but that's it it's simple it's easy to use it's really straightforward and i love it before i go i have to show you okay it also has a carrying case so you spin this baby around you slide these into the back of it and you just click it down now you have this amazing little suitcase it's so cute. It's so quaint. It's so charming. I'm absolutely in love with it. I also wanted to mention this book. This book has also really pushed me into this excitement for writing. Writing is what I want. Writing is my end goal. And it's what I want to put my energy into. And this book has really helped. I love books about writing. I have like nine of them. Um, just people who write talking about writing. And this is Zen in the Art of Writing by Ray Bradbury. I've heard about it a lot, but I, f I was finally convinced to get it because of Kat from Katie Tastic. She made it, um, she mentioned it in a video that she's read it like a million times and it really motivates her. And I was like, I'll give it a shot. Oh, yeah, it's really great. I'm really liking it. Um, so I recommend that. I'd love to hear down below if you've ever had an event that's really like made you reprioritize your things. Um, I'd also love to hear if you have a typewriter, because I mean, I have an Underwood 378 and she's perfect. <laughs> I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I will see you next week with a new one. Okay, bye.